Okay, real quick, I forgot about some bonus content. Inside the zip file for the hotkey configuration version 2.0, you will find a different Excel spreadsheet called Day Trade Position Scale-Out Calculator. I'm going to go over how to use that real quick if you want to reference it or use it. It's just a little side tool I created for helping me debug some stuff. I figured I'd give it to you guys to use it if you just want to do it. It helps you visualize. So the way you use this is basically going to show you what different scaling out will do. So you basically type in an entry price. Let's say our entry price is $20. That's what we get in at. Our stop price is going to be behind. So we say 2018. It, oh, no, that's way too close. Uh, we're going long. Let's do 1975. So 25 cent stop distance shows it there. You don't type anything in that one. $250 risk is what we're risking. That's just based off of these. These are the color keys. So these are your user change is actually got to reverse that. Uh, that should be blue. Oh, well, we'll fix that before I send it out. Quantity down here. So we want to say we were doing $500 shares. So that actually is a risk is $125. So now we say, okay, we use these are just notes. Yeah, I just typed just to keep track. Say we want to say at, we want to sell at 25% at an R1. So execution factor is your R factor. So that would mean the stock would have to get, since this is a 25 cent stop distance, stock would have to get to 2025 for one R. So say you want to scale out a lot of uh, the strategies mentioned, mention that they scale out at one, one R. I stopped doing that because I tried it for six months and I don't know, I found I wasn't making as much as I should have on trades. So I started scaling out like 1.5 and that's what this calculator helped me decide essentially to be able to maximize my profits so but say you do one r on that first one your execution price is 20 25 your execution pnl is 31 25 so that's what you made return execution volume is 125 that's how many shares you just traded of this amount 375 is your running total that your remaining balance so your pnl your risk to reward ratio if you were to basically break out a dead even right now it'd be 0 0.25 so then say you scale out again and the stock happens to move in your favor you do a 50 percent scale out and it moved to 1.5. That's your values for those. That's the PL you returned and your returning shares. You can't do it have a half share, but Excel we do. I just don't feel like doing the math for that, so we'll just leave it. But uh, keep in mind you can't have a half share. So here, now say you want to get out at break even. All you do is you go one for 100% remaining. You go execution factor of zero for meaning your break even. If you wanted to do the stop, you'd do a minus one. That would be what your minus one would be. Zero for break even. You got out of break even. So your return on this $125 initial risk, that was your, your willingness to lose on that, is your return is going to be $102 rounded up. Your risk reward ratio, the ratio between these two, is going to be 0.8125. So I generally like to have it one R. So I used to do, I used to do a lot of 0.25 scale outs manually, but as I've tried to take out the emotion of trading and essentially make it so that it's a, I'm just picking the entries and the computer is essentially handling everything else for me. It takes the emotion away. Uh, it becomes more systematic in that way. And so I now do a much different approach. So I would scale say, 1.5 I might do I might take out 15% at 1.5 if I get to 2 it might be 0.25% of the remaining and 3 and then back 100% out at let's say yeah 1 to 1 so it, it pulled back now obviously that's not a realistic trade because you're going to, the math got fudged up. What up? Where up? Oh, five. <laughs> what was it? Point 0.5. That's why the math got fudged. Okay. So now the difference is you can see the difference between the last one. If you happen to be setting your price targets at a, and being accurate with your price targets, that's one thing I learned in, in crunching my data. I learned that I was actually pretty accurate in picking where the stock's going to go, but I was impatient emotionally. So I'd start scaling at one to one, maybe 1 1.2 to one, 1 1.5 to one. And I would never be able to crack the risk to reward ratio 
or I would crack it be barely above one. So my average risk reward ratio was below one, which means I have to win more than, you know, 50% of my, my trades. So this whole change in strategy for me on what the way I trade and the, the setups I take, uh, is this something similar? It would have returned 240 on 125 risk and almost a two to one risk reward ratio just by tweaking. So that's what this does. This, this allows you to just go here and plug in different numbers of how you want, how you want to simulate a scale in an optimal position uh, and what it's going to do, just so you can visualize it. It's not gonna, you know, tell you anything, but it it does help you visualize, you know, what different tweaks in your strategy will do. Maybe you tweak it instead of taking your first, you, you do a simulated of what your normal trades look like. You say, you know, instead of taking the first order at one to one, instead of doing 25%, I want to do 15%, punch that in, see what it does. You know, it cascade does the math. If you happen to do, uh, say you have lots of room here to go multiple orders as you scale out you could do like andrew and do like 20 and have a full christmas tree i'm just i'm just teasing but uh if you happen to be that good and you can scale a lot by all means do it for the newbies like me we're gonna do more uh, less i would say let's say you set that to zero nope that's not the one you set this to zero. Oh, no, how I did this. Oh, yes, that's how it's factored. So these will open up as you go down. So if you were to set this to 0.5, that opens up. So that's now a 1. Set this to 0.25, that opens up. That's a 1. If you don't want that, you'd essentially go up here and set this to 1. And now it closes. 1, closes, 1, closes. It's going to recalculate all these. 1. And say you were to get out at 100% uh, at break even here. So then you have very little in terms of that. Just an extra tool I included. I, there's probably some other tools on here. Uh, just different scaling calculators. I didn't do guides on these. You know, you could play with these uh, different scaling, older versions, different versions. Uh, you don't have to use obviously it's just there if you wanted it and that is that i'm probably forgetting something and i'll have to edit it in but again for the second time goodbye